Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a haul from Teddy Bees. Now, before you get out the pitchforks and Drew is a hypocrite, is on the headlines, I just want to say, yes, I know that I said in videos that I don't order from Vendor Wax anymore. And Teddy Bees is what I consider and what is considered in the candle fragrance community as a Vendor Wax. And Vendor Wax essentially is more like independent brands creating wax. And you have seen over the years, if you're in this community, vendors are closing left and right. New vendors are popping up all the time. And let me tell you, I really don't watch a lot of Vendor Wax videos. Sure, if some of my favorite YouTubers talk about, you know, a Vendor Wax, I'm not going to like fast forward through the video or, you know, not watch. I'll still watch and, you know, I'm still like up to date on what's going on for the most part in the Vendor Wax world. But when my friend Elizabeth Quinn over on Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, which if you don't watch her on YouTube, what are you waiting for? She's a Scentsy consultant and she is amazing. Like she has such a bubbly personality. She is so creative and she has such a home decor style that I resonate with. That is why I like to follow her. And she's a great Scentsy consultant, but she was talking about Teddy Bees and she got into Teddy Bees and especially she likes it because of the complexity of, of uh, Tiffany, the owner's wax and, and stuff like, and you know, the fragrance combinations and the soft throw because Teddy Bees to me and the problem that I have with a lot of vendor wax is it's just simply not strong enough. And that's why I love Scentsy. I have a ton of Scentsy warmers and I like my Scentsy wax, but there are few exceptions to the rule or to, how do I want to say this? There's few exceptions that they, you know, don't need to be super strong to be enjoyable. And that's something that I find a lot with Teddy Bees. Her scents are beautiful. They're not going to knock you out of the house. But whenever they're going, they're really pretty and her blends are very complex. So I was watching, I was watching and I knew there was a pre-order coming up and I was watching, you know, her video, etc. And I was like, wait, you earn points with Teddy Bees. So I went on my account and I saw that I had enough for a pretty good gift card. And I was like, all right, I said I wasn't going to order Vendor Wax anymore. I'm probably going to be, you know, ripped to shreds because I changed my mind, you know. Anyway, I I don't get into that. I don't associate with any of those people anymore. But I was like, I'm just going to place an order, use my gift card, and call it a day. So I placed an order. And something that I think is super unique about Teddy Bees, so many vendors blend like uh, chocolate chip, chip cookie, caramel, salt, butter pecan, butter pecan waffle, waffle cookie, cookie dough. Like, they just blend it so much together, and it just becomes, like, meh, like mush, you know? Where Teddy Bees and Tiffany, she really sits and thinks about the blends, and every one is super unique. And even though I love bakery, I'm more into more woodsy, more... I love Palo Santo. You're going to see a lot of Palo Santo here. And I essentially just wanted to order things that will work great in my bedroom. I don't melt a lot of like this type of wax in my open concept. It gets lost there. So I ordered a lot of fragrances that I think will be great for my bedroom. My bedroom performs so well with wax and candles, etc. So I essentially bought these things so I could melt them in my bedroom. Now, she does include a little thank you card for when you place an order. It has all her social medias. And then on the back, it says, your order is here. Here are some tips to get the best experience out of your wax. Number one, cure time. So you hear a lot about cure time in the industry. What is cure time? So cure time, essentially, let your wax sit. Because when this stuff is freshly poured and there are pour dates on the lids, you are able to, um, it's freshly poured. So it doesn't cure yet. So essentially the oils 
blend with the wax molecules like the fragrance oils. So if you let it sit for a little while, it'll get stronger. You know, it's essentially just freshly made and it needs to marinate essentially. So she puts, for best throw, I recommend letting your wax cure for two weeks past the date on the label. Bakery especially can benefit from a longer cure time. Number two, warmers. My favorite types of warmers are 17 to 25 watt hot plate warmers and 25 watt halogen warmers. The more warmers, the better, especially in open floor plans. Number three, placement. Keep out of way of fans, AC airflow, open windows. Ceiling fans can hinder the throw potential by preventing the wax from reaching optimal temperatures. Number four, now this is one, I'm gonna try this because I never really listened to number four with Teddy B's, but she keeps recommending it. I'm gonna try it. She puts, I would not recommend using more than half an ounce of wax per warmer. Half of a sample cup is the about is about the size you want. So she includes a little sample with every order, and she thinks that half of a cent of a sample cup is the amount of wax you should use in a warmer. That's a tiny amount. And I just feel like if I do that, it'll throw for like 40 minutes and then it's gone because it's not enough wax. It burns up the oil faster. But I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna try all of these that way to see. That's how the vendor recommends. That's how I'm gonna try. And then number five, changing your scent. To switch out to a new scent, place three cotton balls in your wax dish until wax is absorbed, then throw them away. I change my wax every four to six hours when I'm home. Always turn off your warmers when you leave. So I love that she included a little safety and care card with her order. This makes it look really like, you know, a business and not like a just mom and pop shop. I think this is really nice. And that's another thing that I really like about Teddy Bees versus a lot of other vendors. I like Scentsy because of the simplicity. You can open a clamshell, pop out a few cubes, call it a day. I like that these tubs are neat and organized. Unlike the bags where once you start cutting it up and stuff, the bag gets all smudgy and wrinkly, where these tubs, they can just sit and they're super organized and it just is a lot cleaner of a look. So those are a few things. That's my justification, even though I don't need to justify to anyone. I did want to say, yes, I know I said I wasn't ordering from Venerwax anymore. And believe me, I'm not in the Facebook groups. I'm not, you know, thinking like, oh, now this is my trigger. This is my go. I'm going to start ordering all of it. After growing a lot and, you know, I have my own space and just maturing over the past couple years, like I've learned that more is not always best. And, you know, after getting rid of a lot of that vendor wax, it's nice to just enjoy what I have and not feel overwhelmed. I feel the same way with Scentsy. I just have so much that I really want to use up and it feels good to use up a bunch of clamshells. If you don't look or watch the videos, you know, or feel, you know, the FOMO, then, you know, it's nice to be like, oh, I used 20 clams this month, but I didn't bring in like 45, you know, to cancel it out. So it feels good to do that. Now, all right, without all of the rambling and that's all out of the way, let's get into the haul. I have stated that the main reason for this order was Elizabeth Quinn from Elizabeth Scenes and Sense. And in the Facebook group, I am in the Teddy Bees Facebook group for obvious reasons. I wanted to check out the orders. I wanted to check out, you know, shipment updates, etc. She was offering souffles, she was offering tubs, loaves, and then this new, I didn't get any loaves, and then this thing called the forget-me-nots. So they were essentially like older fragrances that got voted back in this one size in this like square tin. And this is one Elizabeth was really, really gunning for to get, and it sounded so good. So since it made it to the list, I ordered this based on Elizabeth. Plus, it sounded delicious. And this is Ichabod C. So the notes are fresh pumpkins, clove, bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. So it's just this. Whoops. I'm going to try to unbend the corners there. Here we go. It is just, oh my gosh, I can already smell it. It's just this little tin here. And let me tell you, that is another thing I love is Teddy B's wax 
is super satisfying. It's this really creamy formula that I just absolutely love. So it pops out like that. There's glitter here. This is so good. It reminds me of a Scentsy fragrance that I'm not 100% sure of, but the pumpkin in here is yummy and decadent. This is cozy up under a blanket. Maybe you have a nice warm beverage. Maybe you have a delicious snack and you're just sitting there enjoying a winter or a fall movie and it is cold outside, but it's not like 10 below. It's fall weather. Oh, this is so yummy. I get the maple for sure. Like that real creamy, sweet maple. I almost get the bourbon, that lightly alcoholic, you know, almost sweet fragrance and the fresh pumpkin. This is, this is that fresh, gutty pumpkin that was in Pumpkin Marshmallow from Scentsy. You know, those real rich, that everything nice, that real rich, sweet, buttery, fresh pumpkin. So really, really happy with this one. I got two tubs and I got these in fragrances that I've had before from Teddy Bee's and I love. These are both in her Game of Thrones theme. I've never watched the Game of Thrones. People tell me to watch it all the time. I just never have. And this one is Milk of the Poppy. Look at this. This is a white wax with just black specks of glitter on them like that on the top and the bottom. And uh, it smells just like I remember loving it. Palo Santo and the richest creamy vanilla. This is so comforting, so nice, so warm. Palo Santo is something I love in the spring and summer and I adore in the fall and winter. Palo Santo is something I could melt all of the time and it'll be nice on those cold nights to just chop off a little piece, pop in my bedroom warmer, shut the door and just let it marinate. So when I get in there to go to sleep, it's just calm. Palo Santo is like one of the best notes to me. And I just love how soft and rich it is and just calming. So when you mix it with this really, really creamy, creamy vanilla, almost like a buttercream, it's heaven. So I love Milk of the Poppy. So happy that I got that one. And then the other one that I got in the tub is Khaleesi. And Khaleesi is a gray wax with red glitter on there like that. Look at that, how that just shines like that. It's so pretty. And I love this. Palo Santo Tonka Bean Oud Wood Warm Vanilla Sugar and Fireside. So some more warm and smoky scents in here, but this is just really soft. I've had it before, but I honestly don't remember if I melted it or not. I might have just de-stashed it when I was like over vendor wax, but man, this is good. This is slightly perfumey from the warm vanilla sugar and the fire side, but then you have that sweetness of that Tonka bean, which Tonka bean can lean a little vanilla because of how creamy it is. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love. This is so good. This is also slightly smoky. The fire side though, has that smokiness, but the warm vanilla sugar and the Palo Santo mellow that down to create this smooth, rich, warm, smoky fragrance. I love. Next are the souffles. The first one I got is in God's Woods, also from the Game of Thrones collection. Palo Santo, Birchwood Pine, and Vanilla Balsam. Now, I'm not a Christmas tree scent person, if you remember, but vanilla balsam is such an exception because again, the vanilla in the vanilla balsam is like that buttercream. It's that rich, creamy, creamy vanilla. And I smell vanilla balsam in here more than anything. I'm not really getting Palo Santo much. And this is like real Christmassy. It's white with gold and red glitter, or is it green? Oh, it's green, silver, and red glitter, but it's very subtle. Yeah, this is nice. I totally am just getting the vanilla balsam, that real creamy, like Christmas tree fragrance. And birchwood pine, I don't know if that's like the nest fragrances dupe, because I know they have a fragrance birchwood pine. 
And birch has that like real crisp, fresh wood almost. Yeah, I love this. This will definitely be sitting and melting during the holidays, especially with that Christmas tree note. Love that. Next is I Heart Vanilla Tobacco. Now, I don't know if you remember when I was doing Vendor Wax, uh, Tiffany has I Heart fragrances, which is like a super creamy, rich vanilla, and then she blends it with things. I Heart Spiced, I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples was my favorite. I loved I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. It ended up being the number one that pre-order whenever it was like real big and a thing. And that is one that is on my radar, though, that if it does come back, I will order more because I do miss that. And that is something that I melted all of because it was so pretty. But this is I Heart Vanilla Tobacco. And the notes are creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, sweet tobacco leaves, cherry wood, and a pinch of honey. So we have that rich, creamy vanilla concoction that she created with vanilla tobacco. Oh, I love, I love. Uh, now it's tobacco, but it's not cigarette smoke. It's that sweet cherry tobacco that I feel like if you walked into a cigar shop, you would leave and that's the fragrance that would linger in the air. That real sweet, rich, texture, not texture, tobacco. Rich, sweet tobacco with that creamy, creamy, creamy vanilla. I love this one. This is, again, this is a little bit masculine from the tobacco vanilla, but mixed with that I Heart blend that she's famous for, so yummy. Next, I cannot believe I've never tried this one, and this is Pacific Northwest Winter, or PNW, and this is fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, a slight hint of cranberries, and burning fireplaces off in the distance. Yeah, I cannot believe I've never tried this one before. And I like this. This is nice. This is definitely Christmas tree, but with the balsam, but there's definitely pine in here. Like, vanilla balsam is not the dominant note in here like God's Woods is. It's much more sharp and green. You're definitely getting more of the fresh snow and the pine forward in this one than the other one. I don't really pick up on cranberry. It does say slight hint of cranberry and fireplace. And it must come out more whenever it's warming. This was poured in June, June 10th. So it's had a pretty good almost two months of cure time already. But I like this. I like the greenness. I like the freshness. Like I said, I'm not really getting much of the cranberry or the fireplace, but maybe that comes out more when you warm it. So Pacific Northwest winter there. Next is Ghosts of Heron Hall. Not sure what that is in reference to. And this is a mysterious blend of Palo Santo and incense, leather, guyac wood, and ebony tree resin. I love guyac wood in fragrances. That is like a real, oh, and I get it here. Now this, Tiffany does a lot of blends with high-end perfume dupes, but she doesn't put that it's a dupe on here. She oh, she has the whole description of the fragrance. There's one I'll do next, which I totally know exactly what that is. So this smells like a perfume that I've had or I've smelled in the world, but I cannot put my finger on it with all those notes, but I'm totally getting the Gayak Wood. Gayak Wood is a very unique wood fragrance. It's really fresh, but it has a smoothness to it. I feel like Palo Santo is the wood I feel like you would find that fragrance in nature. Obviously, Gayak wood is wood, so you'll find that in nature too, but I feel like Gayak wood is more expensive. Like, it smells like this is a wood you would find if you were trying to build a table, but you bought it at, like, Restoration Hardware. Like, it's a real sophisticated, real perfumey wood. It's really, really pretty. So I really like that one. This is it. Order of the Maesters. I assume it's Maesters and not Masters because there's an E in there. All right. Antique wood shelves, leather bound books, midnight plum, violets, and a touch of dust. When I smell this, I instantly, I mean instantly, this is bibliotech. 
So Byredo is a very high-end perfume brand and they have a fragrance called Bibliotech. And it is supposed to smell like a library with plum and peach and this real sweetness. This is it. I've had the candle many times. I've had the perfume. I've used that entire perfume. I don't have any anymore. But as soon as I smell this, this is a dupe for Dip or for Byredo's Bibliotech. Check it out. It is such a great fragrance. If you like Order of the Masters and you want to try this in a perfume, definitely try it. I can see how these notes make that sound like it's like an old library, you know, with the violet and the plum. You totally get that. Yeah, when I smelled this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Byredo. Bibliotech in a wax. I can make my house smell like Bibliotech that's not $500, you know? So I love, 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 love. Very happy for this. And I might have to get more of it because it is that fragrance that I love, love from Byredo. Next, we have Harold Fine Hair. And I honestly ordered this because I think the name's really fun. And this is Warm Chestnuts, Smoky Woods, Sweet Vanilla, which is her By the Fireplace type, which is the, uh, the replica brand, Cashmere Cedar, and Frosted Sugar Cookies. And I thought that just sounded delicious. Oh, and this is good. Um, what's the one that I had from Teddy B's last year? Chestnuts and roasted chestnuts and apple butter, something like that. This reminds me of that with that chestnut note. This is sweet. This is sweet. And you wouldn't think from all the notes that it would be super sweet, but that frosted sugar cookie is definitely dominant in here, but it doesn't like mellow out or water down any of the other notes in here. It is woody. It is fresh, but that frosted sugar cookie is definitely in the forefront. It's almost like those like uh, loft house cookies. Oh, but it's delicious. I really like this. Really happy for it. I think this will be another great when I melt it in the bedroom, um, like comforting bakery set, but not like super sweet. Next is Michael. I watched Elizabeth's video and she was raving about this. And I feel like this is one I've had in the past, but I don't remember. Vanilla birch, mahogany vanilla, and smooth marshmallow cream. Again, sounds delish. And it is, wow, it is. I get the mahogany vanilla and vanilla, I don't get vanilla birch right away. I get mahogany vanilla right away. It is that woodsy, woodsy mahogany vanilla candle type that almost, almost perfumey, but it does have that masculine edge to it. The marshmallow cream is sweet. This is also very sweet. And it almost has, it feels like it has a zing to it. Like, I feel like you smell this and you're woken up. Like, you're ready to go. Mm, I love this. This will be a really good morning scent, which sounds interesting because the notes sound a lot more like warm, evening, comforting. But for some reason, it just feels like I want to wake up when I smell that one. Next is The Bear and the Maiden Fair. And this sounds so fun. This is warm cupcakes, vanilla bourbon buttercream, drizzle of honey, cream cheese, Palo Santo, and fire roasted marshmallows. I like this. Um, this is interesting. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say I smell, hmm, what do I smell first? I smell honey, I get honey. Like the drizzle of honey is a little bit more of like a cup of honey. Oh yeah, this is nice. Cream cheese, mm. honestly, it just smells really rich honey. Like a honey cupcake almost, like a honey buttercream. I don't get much of the Palo Santo, which again, I ordered this because of the Palo Santo and I don't really get Palo Santo much, but it smells to die for whatever it is. This is nice. This is complex. This is complex. This is a very, very complex scent. Yeah, I like this. If you like Palo Santo, though, it's not super Palo Santo heavy. Mmm. It's definitely honey heavy, though. Like, I get the honey. And I'm not complaining because I love honey fragrances. Now, 
This, I was so excited for, and I think it's my least favorite. The Black Flame Candle. One, I love the name. This is flannel type, crackling firewood, and warm vanilla sugar. Flannel is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works fragrances. I don't know why it has such a hold on me, but I love flannel. I think it's so good, so sexy, so sophisticated. I, yeah, I don't like this. I don't know if it's the firewood because warm vanilla sugar is another one. Warm vanilla sugar is so interesting because in body care, warm vanilla sugar has been around for so long. But every time I smell it or I use it, because I love that, I have that body spray. Anytime I use it, it's just like, oh, this is so good. It's so comforting. It's so yummy. Like, I just love warm vanilla sugar. But this almost has like... I don't know. It's that crackling firewood, I think, which is crazy because in life, I love that. I love that note in wax. I love that scent like in the outdoors. I was hoping I would get more of the flannel type and it's in here. The flannel type is in here, but this was poured June 7th. So it's like ready to go. I might pop this in a warmer soon and see if it comes to life when I melt it. But as of right now, I don't love it like I thought I would. I really do wish I liked it more. So we shall see. I'm not in love with it like I thought I would. I don't like that crackling firewood note. All right, and last but not least is Master of Whisperers. And this is also part of the um, Game of Thrones collection. Aged oak, pressed parchment, tobacco leaves, hints of leather, quill ink, and vanilla whiskey. Mm, this is another one that's funky to me. Now, listen. You know what I think this smells like? And I haven't watched any videos except for Elizabeth, but it smells like the Bath & Body Works, the Stranger Things pineapple pizza candle. Like, I smelled that candle. I was so tempted to buy those, let me tell you, because I love the movie, Str or the TV show Stranger Things. But I did not. I left them at the store. I did not buy them. But the pineapple pizza candle, it was so awful, but I kept going back and smelling it. And I felt like I got a note of melted cheese. Real weird. I don't know why. I felt like I, well, it's a pizza candle, but I felt like I got cheese. And I feel like I smell that in here. I don't know why. I don't know what that would possess to be. But as soon as I smelled this, I was like, it smells like the pineapple pizza candle which is so strange. So I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. This was poured July 18th. So this is like one of the newest pours. It hasn't even had a month to cure yet. So, and that's the thing with Teddy Bee's wax. When you melt them, they do come alive in the warmers. They definitely are a lot more sophisticated and a lot more, you know, smoothed out when you melt them. So I'll be curious to see how that transforms when I melt them. And then I did forget... I do have a little sample and it is in not just another lavender vanilla and Tiffany loves her lavender fragrances. So I was excited to smell this. And yeah, I mean, it definitely smells like lavender vanilla. I'm not getting much else. Obviously, I don't know what the notes are, but it's nice. It's like a sweet, sweet vanilla with that herbal lavender. So that was my Teddy Bees haul. Let me know what you guys think. I don't, I, I, there's not going to be a ton of vendor wax videos, you guys. I do enjoy the Teddy Bee's wax blends. I'm going to melt through this though. See what I think. Will I place another order? I don't know. I know she is having a, re, a ready to ship with the overstock from this, um, this pre-order on Saturday, uh, uh, August 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. It's 3 p.m. Pacific. Um, I'll be working. So, I'm going to miss it, which is totally fine. I don't need to be tempted with any any wax anymore. I still have like over 500 Scentsy bars that I need to work through. And now I have this little stash here. And then I have my Kells by Victoria. So I have wax for days that I don't need to be worried about it. But I do feel, I feel happy and satisfied that I have this little bit of Teddy Bees to work through. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Make sure those notifications are turned up. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.